Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel. I am very happy to have you here. Today we are doing a reading for Cancer and this is going to be an overview of 2023. This is going to be a longer video. I'm going to go month by month in quarters. I'm going to time step the quarters in description box. So if you ever decide to refer back to this video, it'll be easier for you to find. This is going to be a mix of uh, tarot cards and oracle cards. So if you're interested to see what's happening in 2023 for Cancers, stick around. All right, let's go ahead and start with first quarter, January, February and March. And first up is January. What is happening in January 2023 for Cancer? January 2023, this one right here. All right, February 2023 for Cancer. Okay, and March 2023 for Cancer. This one was fast. Let's pull some Oracle cards. Let's pull a message for each month. So first up is January 2023 for Cancer. What do we have here? Nice. Okay, February 2023 for Cancer. February 2020. That's it. Oh, some magic is happening. All right, and March 2023, 2023, 2023, 2023. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. March 2023. This is it. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify your cards. Let's get some information here on this uh, Nine of Wands for January 2023 for Cancer. What is this Nine of Wands about? Okay. Nine of Wands, good. Okay, now let's go ahead and pull some additional messages and see what else is happening for Cancer in January 2023. What are the messages we need to know? What else is happening? Oh wow. inspiration all right okay let's go ahead and clarify this queen of pentacles in february so february 2023 what is this queen of pentacles here for for cancer what is this queen of pentacles about wow empress and this one, all sorts. And this devil. Okay. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and pull some additional messages for February 2023 for Cancer. What else is happening for Cancers? Cards are flying. Oh wow, look at that. Muse of Voices. Nice. What else? What else here for February 2023 for Cancer? These cards right here. The Empress again. Oh wow. Empress twice. Beautiful. And Ace of Inspiration. Great month for you. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening in March. Let's clarify this Nine of Cups for March 2023 for Cancer. Clarify Nine of Cups. 
Batman cops. This one here. This one. Yeah, this one too. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Nice. Four cups. Nine and nine. Okay. What else we here? For nine of cups. This one. The Emperor. And the Hive of Vent. Beautiful. All right. Let's get some additional messages here for March 2023. Cancer. What else we need to know? What else is happening in March for my cancers? Oh, this is happening. Three of inspiration. This one. Six of materials. Nice. And this one right here. Four of inspiration. And the devil. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and go um month by month and uh, see what's going on for you here so january january you have this uh, nine of wands here i feel like there is a little bit of mistrust going on around here i feel like um, there this is something to do with your emotional world this is something to do with your romantic connection here i feel like you're juggling here a little bit maybe you're not trusting yourself in this connection or maybe you're not trusting your partner here Maybe you feel like you are juggled here in this connection. But I see this with Nine of Cups, the Star and the Lovers. So I really don't feel like you have anything to worry here about. Nine of Cups is a beautiful wish fulfillment when it comes to your emotions. This is a beautiful wish fulfillment in your love life. The Star is the healing and wishing upon the Star. Again, another wish fulfillment here for you. And the lovers is a beautiful, divine, romantic connection. So whatever the seed was going on around here, or maybe not even the seed, this is more of mistrust. This is you a little bit juggling your thoughts here. Maybe your head and your heart, you're a little bit indecisive here about this connection. You don't know if it's leading you in the right direction. Yes, you're definitely healing those thoughts because this is a divine union. This is a wish fulfillment. And it comes here with this gate, with this opportunity and home. I feel like during this month, you can actually take this relationship to the uh, new level of commitment. You might be even moving in together with your romantic partner here. This is what I see. And let's see what other me messages we have here. You have here Queen of Emotions. Queen of Emotions is Queen of Cups. Again, this is the queen who is very strong in her love life who is in touch with her emotions, who is very balanced in her emotional life. And I feel like you're embracing this energy here. Now, another message that I have here for you is regarding your material world. This is something to do with your money situation, with your business, with your uh, career. And I feel like you uh, feel a little bit of a lack here. I think that you feel a little bit stuck in the job that you're doing currently. And in this month of January, you decided to take a, a leap of faith and go for something new. Full is the start of a new journey. And look at this two of inspirations. You're looking to a new horizon. You look into a new horizon and you're starting a new journey here. A full is a zero. This is a beginning. And I feel like this beginning has something to do with opportunities in your material world and your job. So if you are in a not so fulfilling situation when it comes to your job here if you're working for the company that you don't think is giving you reciprocal energy and maybe you're not getting paid um, what you think you should be for the amount of time energy and effort you put into your work you're leaving that behind and you're starting a new journey you're looking to new horizons you're looking for new opportunities and you might be looking for a new job here this is what i see all right, Kansas, let's move to your February and see what's happening here in February. Now, in February, your finances look amazing. You have this energy of Queen of Pentacles here as your overall energy for the months. And this is very stable financial energy. This is the queen who has her materials in order. This is the queen who has her money in order. She's very stable financially. Now you have the Empress card here. I mean, this is the most abundant card in the deck and especially abundant the feminine energy here. So um, 
Empress is embracing the energy of all four king and queens here. And you have Empress twice. You have Empress twice in this month of February, which is telling you that you are standing in your power. You are powerful, you are protected, um, you are definitely protected from any negativity that might be going around you here during this time. You are glowing up. This is your glow up month. This is your glow up month when it comes to your finances and your self-confidence for sure. You could be in your head about it. This is something that probably you've been thinking about it for a while. This is probably something that you've been dreaming about for a while. And um, you decided to, time, you to take a little bit of time of healing to heal this situation in the past that wasn't fulfilling for you and you embrace in the energy of an empress. Now this devil card here with the witch card, it is telling me that there might be some uh, jealous energies around you during this period of time because of the glow up that you're going through. I mean, look at this, you have 10 of pentacles, 10 of pentacles with the queen of pentacles. This is telling me for a huge raise in your finances. You're glowing up here within your finances situation. You definitely have a happy family here and you are materially abundant. So yes, there could be some jealous energy around you during this time, but this is not the energy that will take you off your throne. You are the magical queen here. You are the empress, and this is confirmed in here and in here. So definitely standing in your power. If there is anybody who's coming to restore you, it's not gonna work for them. The magic is on your side here. You are protected. And look at this, you have Muse of Voices. This is a beautiful card of a balance. You definitely balance in your thoughts here. You are able to uh, communicate very well. You are a very great communicator during this period of time here. If you are working on your finances, which this is the month that you are definitely working on your finances, you are communicating your ideas clearly and you materialize in them. That's what I see. Empress, I've already mentioned this um, a few times here absolutely you're staying in your power definitely no distorted energy no jealous energy around you can take you off your throne you are in balance here you're materially abundant you are in balance with your heart here the world is at your feet and you have an ace of inspiration ace of uh, this is ace of wands this is a beautiful new beginning and this in this spread is definitely talking about the career a career that is inspirational to you. You're doing something here for your money that is also inspirational and emotionally fulfilling for you, that help you to embrace this energy of all four queens, the energy of Empress. Magic is happening here. This is what I see in February. All right, let's go ahead and move on to March. Okay, March. We have this beautiful energy of Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is an energy of abundance coming off of this beautiful month of February. I do see you sitting in this abundant energy here of Nine of Cups. A little chubby person on this card is telling me that they have enough of everything. They have more than enough. Definitely very much fulfilled energy here. And you have this with, some, uh, with this wheel card with some endings and new beginnings. There is some new beginnings uh, happening for you here in March. Look at this. You have nine of pentacles again. I feel like you're still working on your finances. Your finances are still looking very, very good. You're very happy with your financial situation here. Nine of cups and nine of pentacles. This is talking to me about the balance. The money that you're making is the money that you're making uh, doing something that is inspirational for you, something that is emotionally fulfilling. Very nice. Now there is also something else coming in for you here in March and I see this Four of Cups. I feel like all this focus on your finances here might you left a little bored with your romantic love life and you are waiting for this cup here, for this cup full of love coming to your vicinity and it is coming. This could be coming from, from an emperor or a hierophant here. There is a very strong energy of an Aries here. There is some energy of a Virgo here as well. Capricorn is in a mix as well. So definitely could be um, a strong male energy coming to you to offer you a cup of love. Emperor is a very stable energy. This is definitely somebody who can 
uh, who can balance out and who can uh, match the energy of an empress here, which is your energy, the energy that you have embraced. An emperor will match your energy. This is somebody who's mature. This is somebody who's uh, emotionally stable. This is somebody who's financially abundant, great communicator in, the, in their power. This could be somebody who owns his own business. This could be somebody who's a boss or a, a big managerial energy, a person of authority here. Hierophant is telling me that the, this new beginning here, this new beginning in emotional life, this new beginning in love can be actually your um, your wish fulfillment when it comes to creating a family and getting married. I'm not saying you're getting married in March, but there is a strong energy of a very stable connection here. This is what I see. This is what I see here. Now we have some additional messages here. As I mentioned before, this, uh, the person that could be coming towards you could be an Aries Virgo or Capricorn here. I do see that the, there is a lot of passion going on around here. Three of Inspiration is talking about passion here. You're flying, you're dancing, you're happy here. Uh, Six of Materials is talking about reciprocal energy. So definitely reciprocal energy here. You are the Empress. The partner that is coming into your life is an Emperor. Whatever you give into this uh, connection is going to bring you the same energy back. Very nice reciprocal love here. Beautiful. You have Four of Inspiration. Four of Inspiration is 11-11. 11-11 is a divine union. Very nice, beautiful energy. Yes, you have this devil card here as well. I do feel there is a lot of temptation here. There is a lot of fire. There is a lot of wands in here. So definitely some temptation here. The, you, you might be feeling that this is going a little too fast for you. But just remember that this is uh, taking you to the beautiful committed relationship. So maybe there is a need to slow down a little bit. Don't give in to the temptations too fast. Make sure that you build this emotional satisfaction here, that there, this connection here needs uh, emotional satisfaction, stability, and uh, not just passion, right? But yes, there is definitely a lot of passion here, a lot of passion around you. This person brings fire. That's what I see. All right, Cancer, good start. I'm going to go ahead and now remove these cards, cleanse the energy a little, and we're going to move on to your second quarter of 2023. We're going to check what's happening for you in April, May, and June. Like I said, I will timestamp the quarters in the description box. So if you want to skip this, you can. All right. Let's cleanse this as well. Okay. Second quarter. Second quarter of 2023 for Cancer. Starting off with April. This is it. Very quick. Mm, nice. Okay, May. May 2023. Ooh. Okay, and June, June 2023 for Cancer. What's happening in June? What's happening in June? This is happening. Oh, nice. All right, let's pull our Oracle cards. An Oracle card for April 2023 for Cancer. What's the message? This is the message. Nice. Okay. August 2023 for Cancer. August. Mm -hmm. And September 2023 for Cancer. September 2023. This is it. Okay, Wisdom Keeper, nice. Let's clarify. Let's clarify what is this Seven of Pentacles here for, for April 2023 for Cancer. 
seven of pentacles this one right here this one right here nice eight of wands beautiful top card only okay nice judgment beautiful all right, let's get some additional messages here. What else is happening in April for Cancer? April 2023. Let's hope. Oof. All of these cards. Okay, how many do we have here? Oh, nice. Nine of Emotions, Knight of Inspiration, and a Death card. You got this card twice here. Beautiful. Great confirmation. Okay. Let's have a look what's this Knight of Pentacles here for. Knight of Pentacles for May 2023 for Cancer. Knight of Pentacles. Let's clarify Knight of Pentacles. This is it. Ace of Wands, the Devil. And Seven of Wands. Alright, let's go ahead and pull some other messages here. So what else we need to see? What else is happening here for Cancer in May 2023? Some clarification, some additional messages. What's happening? Three of Emotions, Ace of Emotions, and the Empress. Wow, beautiful. Okay, moving on to June. Clarify the world for June for Cancer. Clarifying world. No, not that one. This one. <laughs> nice. Okay. and get some additional information for June, June 2023 for Cancer, June 2023, Real Fortune, nice. And the Queen of Expression, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and start here with April and see what's going on. So you have this um, energy of uh, Seven of Pentacles here in April. I feel like you see something growing here. You see something growing in your romantic life here. Uh, life here. So I feel that relationship that you uh, maybe started off um, in the previous months this is growing here you see growing you see the romance flourishing this is your wish fulfillment this is what you've been wanting this is what uh, your wish fulfillment is and uh, you're getting the star here you're getting your wish fulfillment knight of wands and knight of inspiration is the same this is a huge confirmation that there is some news coming in there is a lot of passion in, and passionate energy coming towards you again during this month definitely you could be dealing with that uh, fire sign you could be dealing with that emperor with that uh, aries energy there and again a lot of passion coming your way this eight of wands is fire there's a lot of passion in your relationship here and this is what uh, your judgment is the judgment has been served look at this there is a judgment card this is the relationship that is bringing you fulfillment this is what i see a beautiful romance going on here beautiful romance there is this nine of emotions here this is um, we've seen this card before in a different deck this is nine of cups this is you being very much fulfilled with your romantic love life 
with your emotions. Your emotions are all in balance here. You're very much in tune with your intuition during this period of time as well. Knight of Inspiration, this is your Knight of Wands. This is your fire sign. This bringing fireworks into your life. And death, this death card is just absolutely amazing. This is a rebirth. This is beautiful, beautiful new wave of energy in your romantic love life. This is what I see. You see it grow. You see the romance grow during this month. All right, let's move on. Let's move on here. Okay, so we see Knight of Pentacles here, clarified by Ace of Wands, the Devil, and Seven of Wands. There is this uh, control and change card here as well. So what I see here is that uh, there could be some offer coming your way when it comes to um, your finances. There could be an offer of a new job here. Definitely uh, connected to wants, which is a career energy here. I see you being a winner. I see you being a valor here with the seven of wands. Could be definitely an offer of a job. Um, just uh, make sure that you're in control here. Make sure that you're in control and this offer is not too good to be true. But this devil energy here, this could be just an offer that is coming from a Capricorn, from a Capricorn but it could be something that is a little bit uh, too good to be true or it seems to be too good to be true. But remember that you're in control here and the change is coming. So take control, be careful, make sure that you, if you are getting a, an offer of a new job, make sure that you read everything through and know the new changes and new beginnings in your career are meant to happen during this month. You have this three of emotions here. This is a card of a celebration. So I do see this being successful for you. I see that this is bringing you some emotional growth as well. And you're an empress. I mean, you are an empress. You are the most abundant energy in the deck here when it comes to feminine energy, your birth in the world, your finances are looking great here. So. If you are taking this offer of a new job or you're not, remember that you're an empress and you will have it all. You do have it all. And you have a celebration here as well. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm loving this. Okay, this is your May. Your May is looking great. Now we are here in June. Look at this. Look at this June. Beautiful June for you. Great energy, 2023. All right, let's see what's happening. Okay, so in June, you have this beautiful card of the world. World is at your feet. You have a new cycle beginning in your life. You're tap tapping into the world. You're tapping into the high knowledge with this whale card. You're tapping into your intuition for sure. You are very much emotionally satisfied during this period of time. You are continuing with this uh, energy of an empress, very much fulfilled in your romantic love life. Your finance is looking good. You are queen of pentacles. You are embracing some earth energy as well. Very stable here. Now, knight of cups, this could be you. This could be you, Cancer. But this is also the most romantic knight in the deck. This is somebody who is here to court you. This is somebody who is here to shower you with gifts, with flowers, with romance. Beautiful. And for that to come with the flowers and Ace of Cups is telling me that your romantic love is flourishing. This is beautiful. This is an emotional cup. This is a huge cup of love here. It could be a follow of a water sign or it could have been that fire sign that we've seen before taking a little bit of more of an emotional energy here, a little bit of an energy of water here. And again, this is divine union. The lovers are here. Divine union. Beautiful. All right. And look at this, we have Page of Emotions, the Wheel of Fortune and Queen of Inspiration. This is great. This is absolutely beautiful energy. Page of Emotions is you tapping into your heart, you tapping into your God. You know what you want and Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. 
Yes, maybe there are some people around you that uh, uh, are not here to go to this new circle of life with you. This new cir circle of life that you're starting here with the world, maybe somebody is not meant to be there with you anymore, but you're sitting on top of this wheel of fortune, which tells me that fortune is turning in your favor. And you are the queen of inspiration. Queen of inspiration is a queen of wands, is extremely attractive queen. You are attracting a lot of uh, energy here. You're attracting a lot of attention. So no wonder this Knight of Cups cannot stay away. This is beautiful. Very nice tune for you as well. Great energy so far, Cancer. Great energies. All right, let's clear this away. Let's clear this away. Let's cleanse this a little. Move this out of the way. So we can make space for you. And move on straight to the third quarter. And see what's happening in July, August and September. July, August and September. All right, third quarter for Cancers. Let's see what's here for July 2023. What's happening? Is this, this two together? Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. Queen of Cups and the Devil together. Okay, now let's go ahead and see August. August 2023 for Cancer. Knight of Cups. Okay, and then we move it on to September 2023. For oh, Cancer. September. This is it. Okay. All right, let's pull some Oracle cards. Let's see what is this here for July 2023. What's the message for July 2023? Okay, and now August 2023 for Cancer, this is it, good, and then September 2023, September 2023 for Cancer, this one, okay. Let's clarify. This is interesting. Let's see what is the Queen of Cups together with the Devil here for, for July 2023. What is this about? Oh my cancers. What is this about? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Queen of Cups clarified by Queen of Cups. Well, here you go. It is you. Knight of Pentacles, the Moon. Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and Four of Cups. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and pull some additional messages for July 2023 for Cancer. What else is happening here in July? What else is happening in July? Five of Emotions. Six of Inspiration. Okay. Muse of Materials. Okay. And Five of Materials. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Cups for August. Knight of Cups for August. Knight of Cups for August for Cancer, Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. Okay, let's pull some more messages here for August 2023.
thing man and use the wheel of fortune nice and six of emotions all right we've got six of emotions here again okay let's clarify this eight of swords eight of swords for september 2023 for cancer what is this eight of swords about seven of wands the lovers the temperance I think yeah, I'm taking this too. The fool, okay. And page of swords, okay. All right, let's get some additional messages here for September. September twenty twenty three. Two voices the hermit and the chariot beautiful okay well let's see what's going on here oh, july july you have this energy of queen of cups you have it twice you have queen of cups twice which is telling me that this is you this is you standing in your power this is you focusing on yourself here uh, you have this here with the uh, energy of a devil. Sometimes the devil, uh, energy of a devil can talk about us being a little bit selfish, but it is uh, needed to focus on ourselves uh, sometimes. And this is what I feel you are doing in July here. I feel like you're taking control of your life here. You're standing strong. Definitely uh, some water energy here, and you are a water sign. So you're taking your power. You're standing in your power. You're taking your power back. If you felt like maybe you lost your power a little bit during the previous months, or maybe you were just uh, very much into your romantic love life during the time, and now you feel like you need to take a little bit more of a control here. Devil can also talk about control, so definitely taking control here. It comes with Knight of Pentacles, the Moon, Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and Four of Cups. So I think that, that uh, you feel like you need to control or take control in your financial situation here. The, the devil is talking as well to me that maybe you've been focusing on your romantic life a little bit too much. Maybe you're reminiscing about the past here during this time. You're looking at these three spilled cards and you're thinking about your childhood a lot. You're definitely reminiscing about the happy times here. And I feel like it has something to do with your finances. Four of Pentacles is talking to me about some lack in a financial situation. You're holding tight your finances. You might be on a straight budget here. There is some uh, um, secrets here. There is something hidden. There is something unseen for you. And I feel like you are deciding to maybe go on a new journey when it comes to your finances. You might be taking your money and going somewhere else. You might be taking your skills and moving to a different company. Maybe even starting something new. There is definitely some hidden energy here, but this moon will eliminate the past for you. You're not going to be falling. The moon will eliminate the past and you will know how to get out of the situation. Don't, get, don't uh, go into the temptation mode with uh, reminiscing about the past too much. Don't get to this mode of, bo uh, mode of boredom here. Make sure that you, you keep your emotions in check. I mean, you are a queen of emotions right you are a queen of cups so keep your emotions in check don't get too much into your emotions here don't uh, think too much about your past here you need to take control the change is coming in your financial situation here you have this with five of emotions five of emotions is uh, very is five of cups in regular deck and look you go from four of cups to five of cups the offer is coming you don't see it coming but it is coming to you. An offer that will bring you a, a recognition, something that will light up your world here, and it has to do again with your material world. So an offer is coming, the one that you might not be seeing at this time, that will bring you recognition and a balance in your finances. This, uh, your materials will be growing. You will wake up from this energy of a little bit of a lack here. The moon will shine for you, and you will find this path. You will find the path to the material abundance here. 
this is what I see during this month. I see you taking, standing in your power and um, focusing here on your finances, bringing control over your financial situation here. And with Muse of Materials, you are definitely taking control. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what's happening in August. Look at this. In August, you have some uh, somebody coming here with an offer. This could have been the offer here that you haven't seen. There is some justice coming with it. There is some uh, scales balancing out. Page of Pentacles is um, very young energy, very juvenile energy. I feel like you might be um, starting anew with your finances. You keep working on this financial situation here. You are abundant towards the end of this month and it shows here in this Queen of Pentacles energy uh, when it comes to your finances, whatever projects you've been working on, this brings you celebration and financial stability. So you could be signing new documents during this time. You could be starting something new here. There could be some offer of a partnership in your business. There could be somebody who's coming to invest in your business if you are working on your own business or maybe offering you a job that brings you uh, this, that contributes to this uh, material success here and this Queen of Pentacles energy. With the Scales card, definitely you are balanced with your finances here during August. You have this hang muse here. I feel like this is the time for you to tap into your intuition and open your third eye. You will be very intuitive during this time and Wheel of Fortune is coming into your favor. You have Wheel of Fortune with Six of Emotions. Six of Emotions is a Six of Cups. Again, you're looking into this energy and reminiscing about your childhood here. Definitely some energy or emotionally charged energy here. You're thinking about your past, but you're moving towards your future. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. This is what I see. Tap into your intuition here. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening in September for you. September, look at you. You are a little bit um, in your head here, for sure. You feel a little imprisoned. You feel blindfolded here. But just remember that these swords, swords here, they're just stuck in the mud. They're not pointed towards you at all. You can take this um, wrapping off. You can take this blindfold off. This is self-imposed restrictions. This is what I see here is self-imposed restrictions. This is some worries, some fears here. And the advice is coming straight away. You have this card of moose here, which is acceptance and eccentric. And this is telling me that you need to remove this blindfold. You need to remove this self-imposed restrictions here and be unique self. Embrace your uniqueness. Accept yourself for the way you are, for, the, for your eccentricity here. You are standing out for a reason and you need to embrace that energy here. Seven of Wands is an energy of a winner. This is a valor. This is somebody who's very intuitive, who's above it all, who is very much in touch with their inner self here. And this is you. This, has, uh, this comes with the lovers, temperance, the fruit, and page of swords. What I see here is the balance. There is a lot of balance here. There is a balance connection here. There is a temperance balance in here. And there is a new cycle. What I see is the choice. I feel like you're making the choice here. The lover's card doesn't always talk about the romantic relationship. It often talks about the choices that we make in our life. And I feel with this temperance, with this balance here, with this choice here, this is what this card is talking about here. This is you removing the self-imposed restrictions, removing the blindfold, taking on this energy of accepting yourself for the way you are, tapping into your intuition, staying above it all, making a choice to start a new cycle. The food is a new cycle. You're taking a leap of faith here. I'm seeing you taking a leap of faith, getting out of this imprisonment and taking a leap of faith of a page of swords. Page of swords is a student of the deck. This is you maybe learning something new. This is you maybe learning something new about yourself. This is you possibly learning how to love yourself more. 
how to accept yourself for the way you are. Definitely a new beautiful cycle for you here. Very nice. Look at this. You have two voices here. Two of voices is two of swords. On um, a lot of regular two of swords, you would see the two swords pointing into different directions, talking about being indecisive. Look at these two of voices. Both paths is leading you to this beautiful opening. This is telling me that you have made the choice. You are making the choice during this month. You're making the choice and you're taking the leap of faith with the fool here and you're going through this beautiful door. Door to abundance, door, door to success, door to a lot of color in your life. And you have this with the energy of hermit. You're doing this in tune with your intuition, for sure. With this temperance card here, with this energy of a hermit and this meditative, meditative seven of wands, you're very much in tune with your intuition here. You're tapping into your higher powers and you have a chariot. Look at that. This is a move again. This is definitely a new cycle. This is starting something new and being a victor here. Look at her. She's definitely a winner and she's powerful. She's, the, she's powerful the way she is. Definitely no imprisonment on this card. Very nice, very nice transformational energy for you here. This is what I see. All right, Cancer, very nice third quarter for you. A lot of things going on. So let's go ahead and remove this and see what's happening for you in fourth quarter. Let's see how you finish in the year. Give me a minute here to remove this, to cleanse the energy so we can make space for you. What's in store for us, for our cancers, for the end of 2023? We're going to be looking at October, November and December. Alright, let's just see. Last quarter. Let's see what's happening for October, November, December for Cancer. Starting off with October. What is happening here in October for you, Cancers? This one right here. Nice. Judgment. November is this one. The Fool. And December. Let's see what's going on in December. This one right here. Page of Wands. Alright, let's go ahead and pull your Oracle cards and see what messages we have. First up is October 2023. Cancer. What's happening in October? What's the message for October? November 2023 for Cancer. November. This one. Okay. And December 2023 for Cancer. December 2023. This one. Ooh, look at that. Got the wheel. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. We're going to go ahead and start with October 2023 with this judgment card. What is this judgment here for? The fences. This one. <laughs> wow, the lovers are strong in your 2023. It's possible there is some Gemini around you as well during this time. Seven ones. That's it. Okay, that's it then. Let's go ahead and get some additional messages here. What else do we need to know? What else is happening? What else is happening in October? This, all of it. Oh, a lot. 
Three of Inspiration, Nine of Materials, Ten of Emotions, and Three of Emotions. Beautiful. With the Judgment and Lovers, amazing energy here for you. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify the full for November, November 2023. What is this full here? Four of Pentacles. Top card only. Okay, top card only then. Page of Swords. What else is for the full? For November 2023, for Kansas. This, this too, okay. Six of Swords and two of Swords. All right. Let's go ahead and pull some additional messages here. What are additional messages for November 2023, for Cancer? What else is happening for you in November? My Cancers. One and a top one from here. Okay, nice. This one. Beautiful. Okay. And we are moving on to the last month, December 2023. Page of Wands. What is this page of Wands here? For Cancer. December 2023, page of wands. What is this page of wands about? Hermit and strings. Beautiful. Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and pull additional messages. What are the additional messages here for December 2023 for Cancer? What else is happening? Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at that. You got Empress again. Amazing. And Ace of Inspiration. Great. These are great energies. We do have another one though. Let's see what is it. There's something else here. December this one nine voices all right that's it all right this is it okay let's see let's start with October here you have this very strong energy of judgment here judgment is served something is coming to order here there's, you're listening to people, everybody's happy here. The judgment day is here. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. We have this with Page of Pentacles, the Lovers and the Wands. So if you remember what was happening in the previous months, there was this choice that you were making here um, before, something that would do uh, the choice in your career, something to do with you winning your career, something to do with your money. So it feels to me like you did make the right choice. You made the right choice. The judgment is here. The judgment is in your favor. For sure you made the right choice that brought you to this win. Your career is looking good. You invested your money well. You started the right project here. This is what I see. There could be some female around you, some older female who is uh, looking after you here who's definitely looking after you, who might be offering you some advice here with this judgment card, who might be helping you during this uh, process as well. It could be somebody in spirit. It could be somebody who passed over and who is in spirit and is helping you to move through this transition here. You have the three of inspiration here, which is a three of wands, something that uh, you waited for is happening for you nine of materials very strong in your money like i said you made the right choice in the career here and your finances looking amazing you have ten of emotions which is stability in your love life in your material life ten of emotions is everything it's ten of cups you have it all here with the judgment absolutely you've got it all and three of emotions in celebration so you are celebrating your successes here. This is a month to celebrate your successes. 
very nice, very strong judgment. Definitely somebody is protecting you here. Somebody who's helping you on this journey. Beautiful. All right, we're moving on to November. And November is promising new beginnings. November is promising new cycles here. November is telling me that you're ready to take a leap of faith. You take, you're ready to go for something new, to bring something new into your life. And you are protected during this process. Look at this turtle. Look how protected you are. This is something you maybe have thought about for a while. And you are fulfilled here. The judgment has been served and you are ready. You are ready to bring new excitement into your life and start a new journey here. Some new cycle in whatever area in your life of your life is. I feel like you are learning something here. Page of Swords with a Fool. This is a very strong energy of learning something new. You might be even enrolling in school here. Four of Pentacles, this could be something that uh, you will need to put in some money in for sure, travel, could, um, uh, uh, could, <laughs> could need you to uh, invest some money into this. So if you are take, taking a trip, remember that you are protected and yes, you will have to invest some money into this learning, definitely. You are moving to the Kama Shores door here with Six of Swords, with this full energy. You are definitely moving to the Kama Shores, Two of Swords. You might be not sure where you're actually going here. The Six of Swords and Two of Swords and the Fool is telling me that you're not necessarily having a, a plan here as much as a desire to start something new. You're blindfolded here, but you're still deciding to take this leap of faith and go anyway. And this is beautiful. And remember that you are protected during this process. So even if you don't have a solid plan right now, it is worth to take the leap of faith. Even if it's costing you a little. Ace of Emotions, Queen of Inspiration and Nine of Inspiration. This is telling me that this new journey here will bring you emotional satisfaction, some great new positive emotions in your life. Queen of Inspiration and Nine of Inspiration is talking about the intuitive beginning. This is talking about you going for what you're passionate about. This is you bringing new passion into your life. This is you being very stable in your life. And this is you bringing a new inspiring beginning. With Nine of Inspiration here, this is Nine of Wands. Queen of Inspiration is Queen of Wands. For sure, you're going here for something that you're passionate about learning something new, moving to the common shores, taking a leap of faith, going somewhere blindfolded and just knowing, knowing with your third eye here that you are protected. This is what I see for your November. All right, and we're going to December. We are in the last month of 2023. And what do we see here? Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a wanderer for me. I believe that this is you embracing this energy with all this um, inspired and passionate energy here of Queen of Inspiration, Nine of Inspiration and the Fool. I feel like you're continuing with this energies in December. You are the wanderer here. You are the explorer. You are exploring new horizons, ending a new beginning. For sure, you are continuing the journey here. This full journey that you started in November, it continues for you in December. The wheel could talk about travel. This could talk about travel overseas for sure. There is some endings and new beginnings in your life. Great new beginnings. And look at that. You are strong. You are protected during this process and you are standing in your strength. Definitely standing in your power. You are the hermit. You are, you are learning here. Whatever you started learning here in November, you are mastering this knowledge. You are tapping into intuition. You are sitting on top of the rock here. You are the wise sage. You are very much in tune with your inner self here. Beautiful. And this is where your strengths lie. Your strength lies within you. This is what it's telling me. Look at this nine of voices. Again, she's sleeping here. This nine of voices is actually nine of swords. But you don't see swords on this card. There are no swords here. There is just lines that connect you to the higher self. This is what I see about this nine of voices. This is you listening to that intuition of yours. This is you going into that hermit mode, embracing your strengths 
and going for something new, exploring, exploring what else is out there for you. Empress, I mean, how beautiful is that? How beautiful is to finish your year with the energy of Empress, the most abundant, feminine, emotional card here. You're in your power, the world is right here in front of you. The whole universe is right here in front of you, pouring from your heart. And this is what we're going for, with this new beginnings, with this wheel. An ace of inspiration. Again, this is a new passionate beginning for you. More wants, more inspiration. You're inspired to take a journey. You're definitely inspired to take a journey. You're in your power. You're content with your decisions. Very much in tune with your intuition, your heart, your strengths, your mind. Everything is in balance here. Very nice ending. Very nice ending of 2023 and a beginning. Great promising beginning for the next year. All right, this is what I see for you, Cancers. This is your overview of uh, 2023. I truly hope you enjoyed this reading and you find it helpful. And if you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon again. Bye for now.